This is a public service. Hello. Hey, yes, calling for potion, please. Hi, this is uh, uh, Hi, this is Lieutenant Vaughn, Florida Highway Patrol. How are you doing today, sir? Well, better than I deserve. How about yourself? Sir, I'm blessed. Um, and you said, uh, did you say Vaughn, V-A-U-G-H-N? Yeah, first name is Kevin, K-E-V-I-N. I'm the district lieutenant here. Well, how can I help you? Uh, you know, right You know, between the time that I spoke with uh, Cynthia and, and your call back, I actually got an email answering, uh, answering the question uh, that I had submitted through the uh, through the public records portal. But since I've got you on the phone, um, sure. uh, I'd like to ask you another question. Uh, this is in regard to, I believe you were going to tell me the, the trooper's name was uh, Juan uh, Mendez. Is that correct? Yeah, that's him. Yes, sir. Um, so I've got a question. I, I stopped on State Road 44. I can't remember the exact time. It was probably between 5.30 and and six o'clock on uh, on January thirty first. Okay. And um, I stopped just to uh, just to observe the, the traffic stop and make sure that you know uh, you know just to ensure everyone's safety, keep everybody accountable. Um, and the uh, the trooper uh, during the stop, he he repositioned his vehicle and he took uh, he took some uh, some cell phone pictures of me. Uh, as I was standing there, uh, video recording, and I would like to—I'd like to request—I'd uh, like to request those—I'd uh, like to request those pictures. You'd, you'd like a copy of them? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, I can give you my email address, and you can—you can. You can sure. Give me. What is your email address, address please, sir? Uh, it's letters L E T T E R S. Uh -huh. uh, Foshin, P H O C I O N, at Gmail, letters of Foshin. Okay, I want to make sure I have this right. So, letters of Foshin, P H O C I O N, at gmail.com. That's correct. Okay, sir. And is that just a, I mean, just a personal curiosity and, uh, you know, it seemed like he, he took his attention off, off the traffic stop, which, you know, I, I was there and, you know, it was, you know, it wasn't a side street, you know, it was State Road 44. So I, you know, I can appreciate him, him, you know, being curious about what was going on there, but, and I know you can't jump in the, in a, another trooper's mind, but, you know, it, what what do you think the possible rationale for something like that could be? So so we so in the if you if you go back and you look, and I would I don't know the statistics specifically, but I know that uh, troopers killed in the line of duty by being ambushed is up severely from years past, and they're always telling us just to be on the lookout, play it safe, for your safety, watch out. Um, I, I don't personally. I don't recommend another person stopping on the side of 44 and observing. If I did, I would probably stop in a way to say, "Hey, trooper, are you okay?" Uh, I'm just here for your safety, guys. Or is everything okay? If I was concerned about his safety and not stopping on the side of the road where we're really not supposed to stop standard park unless we have an emergency yeah so i uh i he was uh traveling the the opposite direction as me so uh -huh. you know i i pulled off into somebody's driveway so you know i didn't pull off onto the side of the road i, I yeah. pulled off in a safe in a safe manner you know as not to um you know i, I didn't want to create an issue where one didn't exist but um you know you you mentioned you know, troopers getting ambushed, but you know, you've seen the news. You know, the, the people, the people are getting ambushed. Unit number twenty-seven twenty-eight, Florida Highway Patrol. He looked like a manager, a manager of some sort. Pushed out there too. Oh, you know oh, what I mean? Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not anti-law enforcement. I'm, I'm pro-law enforcement. We, yeah. know, we need, we need good, we need good officers out there. But it just you know, I, 
I can appreciate your your explanation of things. I, I, guess, I guess I'm just giving you the other side of the coin. No, and I understand. Um, and listen, I appreciate it. I really do. I think, though, as, as law enforcement, especially, okay, so listen, how many people in law enforcement are bad? What percentage? Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe 5%. Okay, you know, so, we'll, we'll so. Take any industry, it's probably the same number. Yeah, but I'm not even talking about that. The one I'm referring to is that if 5% are bad or whatever the percentage is, when stuff that just happens, like that happened um, with those police officers in Memphis, when that happens, yeah. it sheds a, a bad light on all of us. And one thing that they uh, mentioned uh, here recently is that hey, be aware of your surroundings and what's going on with you because uh, people are, uh, I agree with you, people are upset about what's happening and that, you know, that that in no way what they did reflects anything that we've ever been taught in law enforcement. It's just there's no room for that period anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we can agree on that for sure. That was that was an abhorrent behavior, and but you know, I mean, just you know, we're just kind of you know philosophizing right now, and you know, I I, I just threw out that number five percent, but you know, it seems like such a rare thing for for you to. Hear. Uh, so these guys got pulled over. They've just got the this flap up here. They've got a duct tape off, and that's the reason this uh, this guy pulled them over. A little silly if you ask me. <laughs> Hopefully my presence here will get them off with a warning. Hear about um, officers turning in other officers for, for wrongdoing. Even even if it even if it's something benign, you know, like like uh, speeding out on the road when, you know, they're not on the way to a call or something like that. It just seems like, you know, you know, I don't want to call it hypocrisy, but it, it just seems like the accountability, you know, we, we should, I guess I would want to see more accountability from, from our leaders in law enforcement saying, you know, guys, you know, telling the, telling the rest of the troopers that, you know, we've got to be, we've got to be examples out here. You know, we've got this oath, you know, we have this oath that we need to uphold. And, you know, before we're out here enforcing laws, we're supposed to, we're supposed to preserve rights. You know, that's our primary function, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I would agree with you, but I, I would also tell you this, that I know with my agency that I work for, our leaders are very good at, at reminding of, of what, the oath is that we have taken and what our roles are in law enforcement. So I, kn I know you record all your conversations. So, uh, and I don't want to be misconstrued. I would just tell you that we are very sorry for whatever it was that happened in Memphis. We're uh, sorry that anything that ever happens that, that puts a bad light on law enforcement because that's not who we are and it's not what we are. So, yeah, and, and, and Lieutenant, I'm I'm not in any way saying that that you guys are responsible for that in any way. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's some jurisdiction in another state. I, you know, I was yeah. only bringing up the, you know, the, it's the you know if if we let the small things go, then mm -hmm. it's 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 a lot easier to let the big things go. And I'm not I don't even have a specific example to to cite for you for the Florida Highway Patrol. I'm I'm just kind of speaking abstractly about it. You know. Yeah. Well, let you me. Know, let I, me I, I, yeah. Let, let me, let me just say, though, that every law enforcement's um, senses have been heightened and aware, uh, uh, have been have been heightened because of what has went on to bring uh, bad light onto our profession, to bring in negativity. And we have been warned um, that keep your guard up, watch your surroundings and he may be more vigilant in that than other people because if something was to happen he's completely taken his attention away from the stop and it's on me now for some reason 
How would he know? It was something that brought his attention to you, apparently, that made him think, well, listen, I I don't know what's happening here. I'm on a traffic stop. Someone else has stopped also. I don't know what's going on. They're uh, in a position uh, across from me that has made me feel uh, that I need to watch more closely what is going on because I don't know who that person is. Yeah, and, and you know, to be to be frank with you, I I didn't even consider the Memphis uh, the situation when I approached. I didn't, you know, that wasn't that wasn't in my mind until you said it right now. So you know, now that you say that, you know, I can certainly appreciate I can appreciate you know what what you're saying. I I just don't want you know situations like that. You know, it, it's just a camera. You know, I don't want situations like that to be misconstrued as as you know, that's a constitutional right. You know that absolutely, that and, there, and you know? I, I agree with you a hundred percent. And just like it would be his constitutional right to take photographs of you, and and you're not you you, you are aware of that as well as I am. You take them of him, he takes them of you, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if something was to happen, maybe he would have that there that somebody would look at to say, oh, this. Who is this? Why did he take these photographs? Yeah, you yeah. Know? No, I can certainly, uh, I can certainly appreciate that, and I, I hadn't, I hadn't considered it. So you, you know, you, you tell him that to me, you know, because uh, I, I didn't say a word to him, you know, and I, I'm sure that I kind of surprised him because he was across the street from me and his back was to me. So, you know, right. when, when he finally noticed me, you know, you know, I'm sure it was a surprise. So, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just say I'll just say that that uh, you know I didn't yeah. appreciate your point until you kind of pointed it out to me. And, yeah, um, and we have been more vigilant on watching on what's going on with us in in these past few years, just strictly because whether it's the Memphis thing or other thing, law enforcement has um, been ambushed a lot, and and uh, we have to remain vigilant and watch our six. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and I, but, uh, I just I just hope that you know that all the people don't get pulled and painted under under that kind of brush. Right? That, no. That, you right. Know, there's people out there filming police that you know that actually think that police are you know vitally important to right, the, sure. the fabric of our society. You know. You, yeah. You and we appreciate people you know, like you that that do that. We we do. We you know what? It's good to see someone out there filming us doing something good versus doing something bad. Yeah, you yeah, know for sure. So thank you for what you do. Yeah, well, I, uh, Lieutenant, I appreciate that. You know, you, you mentioned you mentioned. Well, I guess we we both kind of mentioned the oath. You know, the the First Amendment of the Constitution it, it secures five fundamental freedoms to to we the people. Could could you tell me what those five freedoms are? I couldn't write off this at this point, no, sir. So but you tell me, and I I will I will totally listen to them again. And yeah, so there's a there's an acronym for it that'll that'll hopefully crystallize it in your mind so that you never forget because there's uh there's a fear there that you know if 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 you don't know what those things are, it's kind of chilling. It's chilling to the constitution, you know? So the the acronym is RAPS R A P P S. 15 minutes on the stop now. Religion assembly, petition, press, and speech. Right. Well, thank so you for... Say, you know, and, and not only not only that, Lieutenant, I, I hope that you you drive that home with, with the people under your leadership because I think it is so vitally important to the relationship between the people and the police that that they know, you know, that they know those, those, you know, those fundamental rights and that they don't ever forget them. Yes, sir. No, sir. I, I appreciate it, and thank you for bringing that to my attention. And uh, listen, we we do appreciate good citizens out there doing good things. And uh, as soon as I get a hold of uh, uh, Trooper Mendez, I'll see if I can get a copy of those photographs from him, and uh, I'll get them to you. I sure do appreciate that. And I hope you have a great day, and you stay safe out there. Thanks so much. Have a blessed day. You too.
It could be a ticket or a warning. We're out here today to ensure our constitutional rights are respected by those that swore an oath to support, protect, and defend the rights of the people. The purpose of all interactions is to peacefully promote government accountability and transparency. This is a public service.